Hi, I'm Asher Kriegel coming to you from Chicago, and I'm here with Lauren Boyd, cast member of smash hit musical Hamilton on Broadway. Lauren, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful, Asher. Thank you so much for having me. No problem. So, Lauren, what have you been doing to keep your talent sharp during COVID? Oh, I've been taking class online. I've been teaching a lot, doing Broadway mentor sessions. I have an outreach program that's um, that blesses senior citizens, so I've been doing some teaching for that. Um, I've been busy, actually, so I'm very grateful that <laughs> it's still, you know, staying busy, especially during quarantine. So. That's amazing. And so when Broadway returns, how much longer do you plan on staying with Hamilton? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, I'm still under contract. Uh, the contract is just paused now for quarantine. So I'll finish out my contract. And um, if they ask me to continue on, I will absolutely do that. And if not, then, you know, there are, I'm sure there are other things for me to do. And, you know, it just really depends on you know, where I'm at and the space I'm at and, and where Hamilton's at in the next few months or years. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of that, um, what do you think is going to happen to the ticket sales when it does return and people feel safe coming back to the theater? Like um, from the movie? That yeah. I mean, yeah, I think the movie really sparked um, a whole nother generation of interest. Um, maybe people who don't necessarily go to the theater or, or think it's that cool or anything, but after seeing the movie, they're super pumped and excited to want to come to the theater. So I actually think it's going to be even more exciting than it was before. Um, now, as far as like ticket sales and things like that, if they were to do, you know, a, a, a social distance type of show with just the audience, you know, that would only fill what maybe a third of the theater um so they could do that but i think financially it's just smarter if they wait until it, everything's kind of back to normal and then they can bring a full house in and it's safer for us as cast as well to where we you know don't have to social distance while we're on stage because i'm sure if you've seen the movie you can see that we can't social distance we're very close yeah so i think they're gonna do whatever is safest for all parties, for cast, crew, musicians, you know, stage managers, and the audience, so. Got it, thank you. And so moving on, who's your Broadway idol and what have you taken from them to make you a better performer? Wow, okay. I love Cheetah Rivera. I think she's amazing. Um, she's Puerto Rican like I am and she's done so many other shows that like, um, like the, the spider woman. Um, I, I think I'm saying it wrong, but some, uh, return of the spider woman, something like that. Anyway, she's just amazing. She, everything she does is incredible. And, um, she's a wonderful talent and just a nice person. So. Got it. And so you were talking about earlier with, uh, Broadway babes and you've been, uh, helping kids uh, with a uh, virtual mentor workshop. What mm -hmm. is the most important thing that you've learned while teaching people theater? Um, I've actually learned more, I think, from teaching than I have if I was, you know, on the job training, because you really have to break down and make it a simplified version for people who are just starting out and it's so good to really reconnect with your foundation again, you know, why you love the arts, why you're performing to begin with, and, and just to, to really get down to the basics, to the, to the nitty gritty, you know, and, and find out um, those, those are so important. It really, like I said, lays the foundation for everything. Mm -hmm. And are you doing all of these uh, through, ver uh, have you been doing this since, COVID started, like the virtual workshops, and you've been doing that with Broadway Babes and uh, the mentor? Yeah, I've actually transferred everything to virtual now. So I'm teaching classes online that I post every week for the senior citizens. And for classes, I've actually been teaching classes online through Instagram video chat, which is amazing. Like, <laughs> so grateful yeah, really for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what has been your favorite hobby to do when you're just at home? 
Oh, <laughs> okay. So I've always loved archery. And so I actually bought a bow and arrow and I've been like playing around with it and shooting targets and things. So inside that's my house? fun. No, not inside my house. <laughs> um, in my parents' backyard. Got it. Got it. So it's been super fun for me to do something mm -hmm. different, something totally, you know, not what you would expect from somebody who's on Broadway. So, yeah. And last thing, uh, can we hear a little snippet of a song from Hamilton? Maybe a little Mariah? <laughs> um, sure. Um, I know you are a man of honor. I'm so sorry to bother you at home, but I don't know where to go. And I came here all alone. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. I haven't done that in a few months, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's going to be great to see you get back out there and everybody. So fingers crossed that Broadway can come back from this. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And hopefully you'll be able to see it when it comes back. I know you're yes. in Chicago, so it's super close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've seen it a few times myself. Okay. Uh, really great Good. show. Thank you so much, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, where should everybody follow you? Um, yeah, you can check out my Instagram. It's Lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N, M for Marie, Boyd, B-O-Y-D, on my Instagram. And you can also check out Broadway Babes. It's bway.babes for the outreach program that I do. Thank you so much. Thank you, Asher. Pleasure speaking with you.